morning, everybody. Welcome back to another daily vlog. So my name is Jess. I'm a mom of three. I love vlogging our life over here on my YouTube channel. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, you guys, we're getting so close to 25,000 subscribers. So I'd love to have you join in on the fun. Um, I do post videos every single day over here. And so love to have you join us. Um, today has been good so far. It is almost 11 o'clock. Just kind of getting myself together here. So we got up this morning. I have been sleeping so good lately. I don't know why, but I'm just thankful for it. Um, I've been waking up like before my alarm clock, feeling really rested. Um, got up, of course, got the kids ready for school, and I decided to go back to the gym. So day two at the gym. So I used to work out like a good bit. If you've been following for a while, there was this, there was a period of time about a year and a half ago or so, probably about a year's worth of, I worked out a good bit. I really enjoyed it. Either I would go to the gym or I would walk a lot. And then I started having like a lot of pain. I have pelvic floor issues. I have back, like a herniated disc. I have other back issues. And so I was having a lot of pain. I had to stop and um, I'm easing back into it. <laughs> Since then I have lost 55 pounds. And so um, I just thought maybe it would be easier for me to work out now. And like my body as it's been healing and dropping the weight, this would be a good time to start working on my muscles and, you know, strengthening and all of that. And so I'm really trying to like ease into it and not go too hard. So I was there for about, I've been doing between 30 and 40-ish minutes. Um, today I worked on my arms. They are sore. <laughs> they are sore. But Anyway, it's, it was fun. I did um, arms and um, I like to break up my workouts. It just helps me. So like I do like three different days. I'll do one day where I focus on my legs, one day I focus on my arms, and then one day I focus like on my back and my core muscles. Um, and that just kind of helps me focus because there's a lot of machines at the gym and sometimes like I would go and forget which ones I did before. Anyway, that just kind of helps me organize a little bit. And then um, instead of the elliptical, I did just the treadmill today. Man, it was rough. Like, I don't know. I felt like yesterday on the elliptical was easier. I really like the elliptical. I feel like it's easier like on my joints and stuff. But anyway, I got through it. I walked a mile, which I know is not a lot. But like I said, I'm easing into this. And I was sweating. <laughs> I was really, I really felt like I had a good workout. And then I left there, went and got my Panera iced coffee. I, this, I'm telling y'all, if you want to start at the gym, have a reward for yourself. Like something that you enjoy to do after. Me being able to already be right by a Panera is very, very motivating. Y'all know how much I love my iced coffee. Black iced coffee from Panera. I love it. And I don't get to go that much because, you know, I have to drive over there and, um, it's not super close, but it's about a 15 minute drive to the gym and it's really close to the Panera. So being able to go get my coffee after I I'm done working out is awesome. <laughs> so I got that and then it came back home and I've been hanging out with Mark. I went ahead and got my, so one of my goals during the day is to get the laundry caught up. If I do like a load, sometimes two a day, I never get behind on laundry. So that's been working out really great. I already got one load done. I do have like a small load finishing up and I'm going to knock that out early this morning so I don't have to worry about the rest of the day. Um, and I got ready for the day, which feels good. Yesterday I let my hair just dry naturally and I didn't wear any uh, makeup and, and all of that. And it's good to have days like that, especially when you're a stay at home mom. Sometimes it can feel like though, like What's the point of getting ready? Like, I'm just home. You know, it doesn't matter. Like, nobody cares if I have on makeup or not. But for my mental health, I can tell you, I just feel better when I'm up and I'm dressed. I'm not wearing anything. I'm wearing like shorts and a t shirt. But just having like my hair done and my makeup done, it just makes me feel more put together. So, um, I have, I have both. I feel like you have to have a balance. I don't do it every single day, but I can tell a difference on the days that I do it. Uh, so anyway, I got that done. I got my, it's really been a priority for me to get my Bible reading done early in the day. I do it every single day, but sometimes I've found that if I push it off to like the later part of the day, I'm just not as alert, <laughs> like dozing off. 
I've been doing the Bible recap plan. This is my second year and I love it so much, but I just feel so good to like get started with the Bible early. So it's been working out really well. I mean, we're only two days into this new thing of me going to the gym, but gym, coffee, doing um, the Bible and prayer journal. I like prayer journal a lot, doing that early in the day and then getting ready. It really does start my day off for success. And I've been really praying about how best to organize my day because I, I told you guys on yesterday's vlog, I've been a little bit scattered with everything. I have a lot of plates I'm juggling and stuff. And um, I, I feel like I need a little bit more structure. Um, so anyway, that's kind of my new routine. And I'm trying to decide like how often to go to the gym. So here's, we're doing question of the day early. If you work out, do you do it every day? Do you do it on the weekdays? Do you do it every other day? I have to be sort of flexible because there's some days David has to leave earlier than others. But if I, so like if he had to leave early, I wouldn't be able to go. But most days he doesn't leave till closer to nine o'clock. So I would have time that between like seven, seven to like eight 30, I have to drive to the gym, work out and drive home. Um, so I'm thinking about doing it like Monday through Friday, but like a little bit, like I'm not going and spending an hour. I'm doing like 30 or 40 minutes and we're going to start with that and see how it goes. And then if I want to in the weekends, I, you know, I can adjust or if I'm tired during the week, I can take a day off. But I also think the structure of going Monday through Friday will kind of help me with my work and my day. Anyway, let me know, like, what do you do? What do you, if you, if you have a workout routine, like what is your goal? Um, because I think I need to have like a plan. Otherwise I will not stick to it. <laughs> I'll be like, I don't really feel like it today. I'm going to take, you know, but if I, if my goal is to go Monday through Friday or, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday or something. So I'm still thinking about it and we'll see how I, how my body feels, how my muscles feel. Um, but like I said, like my mental health, I feel like a boost of energy after I work out, which is, is normal. It's natural. Uh, but that's a really good thing. That's a good thing. I've also been thinking a lot. Here's part question that I part two. Only answer this though. If you have a strong opinion, I have really, God has laid it on my heart to bring Sunday chats back. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do it. I don't think we're going to do like a book study like we've done before. I think I'm just going to share different topics that God lays on my heart. I really want those of you that watch on Sunday, maybe when you're getting ready for church, um, you're just, you know, waking up with the kids or whatever. You have something um, Christian, Bible-based to watch. The problem is like, they never got a lot of views when I did them before. And so I don't want to not post that because I don't get a lot of views. I just want to make sure that enough of you want them that it will be like, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to figure out how to do it where more people watch and um, I don't know. I don't know. I may just have to do what, God tells me to do and not worry about anything else. Uh, but there were some Sunday chats I did that did get more views. And so maybe we could do like, I, I feel like a lot of people need encouragement right now, especially God's laid it on my heart, special needs moms and moms in general. Um, not that if you're not a mom, you can't watch, but I just think so many of us feel unseen. I know I have at times like just feeling like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it, but just feeling like, you know, we're going through the motions, we're doing all this stuff for our family and like how we kind of get lost in there. And like, what does, what does God have for us? Um, encouragement, practical things for us. And so I've just been kind of contemplating it the last week or so. And I feel like God's laid it on my heart for a reason. Um, but I want to do it in a way that's helpful to you, if that makes sense. So I'm still thinking about it. If you guys have a strong idea, even a name, I mean, I like Sunday chat, but I feel like it doesn't really, I don't know. I, I feel very confused by it all. So still, still deciding, but I do miss the Sunday chats. I stopped them because we were doing daily vlogs last year 
And so, you know, I always try to sprinkle in faith and um, all of that in my regular vlogs. But, you know, it's sometimes nice to have an emphasis on that too. And especially, like I said, if you're getting ready for church, if you're, you know, in the middle of something on Sunday or after you get home or if you can't go to church and you just need some encouragement, I just think it might be nice to have that. I really like watching videos like that. I watch a lot of different like church sermons, encouragement and stuff like on, on Sundays, especially just to kind of like keep me in the right frame of mind. So anyway, that was a long winded around the world thing. But if you guys have, <laughs> if you guys have an opinion, let me know. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep thinking about it, but okay, here is the plan for the day. First up, I need to edit yesterday's vlog. Second up, I need to get dinner prepped early today because David is coming home to eat dinner at 4 p.m. He has an event tonight and he wants to come home and eat dinner before he goes because they're not having like healthy food. So I have no idea what I'm going to make. I need to figure that out. I thought about making pizza casserole. Maybe I'll make that again. Maybe I'll do something else. I also thought, I also thought about like taco salads or something. I'm going to figure it out. So stay tuned. I will show you guys whatever I choose. We're both on Optavia. So we eat lean and green meals at night. Um, so I need to figure that out. So vlog first, I mean editing, and then food prep. And then I need to vacuum. I did a lot of cleaning yesterday. I did not get to vacuuming and the floors need it so bad. Vacuuming and anything else that comes up. But I've really been trying to have like three top goals for the day um, of like things I want to get done. Of course, like going to the gym and, and like I said, the Bible reading and all that. I want that to become a daily habit. But like if I can have some focus when I'm at work. So my three top things, editing, I need to write these down, editing, dinner prep, and vacuuming <laughs> and possibly mopping. Um, Another thing that I feel like God has laid on my heart, which is going to sound stupid, but anything God lays on your heart is not stupid. God has been laying on my heart to get this house more decluttered. We have lived here for over a year. Mark's closet is like loaded down with stuff we need to donate. And I just haven't taken it to the donation center. Um, there are things and places where we just like unpacked and like didn't get it real organized. And I feel like that, is stressing me out a little bit. And so I do not want, just like with the gym, I do not want to go crazy here. I want to do it a little bit at a time. So here is me saying, um, I just think that for my family, for the peace of all of us and peace for me, we've got to get some areas decluttered. My closet is not great. Mark's closet is not great. Um, that's the two main things. But then we have like random junk drawer in the kitchen that's driving me crazy. Like it's like everywhere I go, <laughs> part of me is like, I should be a minimalist because I'm tired of all this stuff. Mark's toys. Holy cow. It's crazy. So we, we need to, we need to scale down. So less is more kind of, you know, approach. But anyway, this is already getting long. Here we are like 14 minutes into this today. I'm going to get those three things done. I'll carry you guys with me, show you everything I do today. Um, like I said, David has an event tonight, so we'll have the kids home doing the mom thing tonight. So anyway, let's have a great day. Y'all come spend it with me. All right, you guys. I am doing good here. I'm getting stuff done. It feels nice. It is 1.40, so the day is cooking away here. Um, I got the house clean. Like, everything is picked up. I went into every room. So what I did was... I did the laundry and as I was folding it and putting it away, I just had a little pile for each room, like each person's clothes. So as I took their clothes and put it away, I straightened up their rooms. Nothing was terrible, but just needed a little straightening. And I knew if I needed to vacuum, I needed to do like cleaning up a little bit before. So by the time I had all the laundry put away, all of the house was picked up, which was awesome. And then um, I vacuumed. I did not mop. That's okay. You don't have to do it all on the same day. I vacuumed and I kind of wiped down the kitchen counters, wiped down the bathroom counters, and here we are. 
we're done. Um, I still need to upload yesterday's vlog. I got that edited. I need to go upload it. And I thought about going ahead and filming um, my weigh-in video. Usually I don't film it quite this early in the week, but I have some extra time today. Why not go ahead and get that knocked out? Um, Mark and Layla are so funny. Whenever I vacuum, they follow me room to room. Mark just, I don't know why. <laughs> He's not afraid. He just likes to like watch me. I don't know. Layla is terrified. Like she hates the vacuum cleaner. She doesn't go hide though. She follows me around like looking at me like with terror. Um, I want to sit down and hold her. She she needs it. So I'll get this video done and then I'll sit down and kind of take a little break before the big kids get home. So I really think that getting up and like getting going early in the morning is going to help me. <laughs> I know it's only day two. It's going to help me feel like I can get more done in the day because what was happening before was I was just sitting around or even going back to bed and sleeping for another hour um, or whatever, which is okay occasionally if I need the extra rest. But I think just getting up and getting going is going to make me feel better. So laundry is done. House is clean. Oh, and the last thing on my list, I got, I told you about one and three. Number two, figuring out dinner. This was so easy because I opened the fridge. I have a pack of ground chicken that needs to be used today or it needs to be frozen. And so I, um, I'm going to do chicken lettuce wraps. I have lettuce, I have chicken, and then I will just put, all I do is I put some general, um, no, G. Hughes uh, stir fry sauce on the ground chicken. We roll it up and eat it with lettuce wraps. It is so good. And it's, I think, David's top recipe that I make for lean and green. And um, are you okay in there? Hold, please. I just had a little heart attack. I thought Mark was choking. He just got strangled. He's not eating or drinking anything. Um, anyway. So it's like one of David's top recipes that I make and it is so easy. It takes me five or 10 minutes, which is perfect when we're trying to eat at like four o'clock. So also I wanted to update you guys about my Optavia box that was missing. That is still missing. It never showed up. So, um, Optavia has been great. They got our new box shipped out yesterday and it is supposed to be here tomorrow. So they, um, had it shipped to a, pick up locations so that we can go pick it up and I guess not have to get it delivered to our house uh, for this one just to make sure that it's secure. So we'll go pick that up tomorrow. Hopefully it gets here early in the day. We are actually really good. Like we have enough to get through today and tomorrow. We're just on our very last few ones. I may have mashed potatoes like three times tomorrow. We have a lot of mashed potatoes left. So we've made it work. I'm never letting us get this low again. We wouldn't have been low anyway, except for the box getting lost. But anyway, what can you do? Um, hopefully that doesn't happen again. I have coached a lot of people and been on this plan. And David's been on this plan for months and um, never had this happen before. UPS, UPS, UPS. What can you do? All right, y'all. I will see y'all back later. All right, you guys, let me grab my hot chocolate here. I have not vlogged in a couple hours, and now I have the dishwasher going, so if you hear that, I'm sorry. I also have children in the tub, and they're being super loud. David came home right at four, and we ate dinner together. I totally forgot to vlog it, so sorry about that, but chicken lettuce wraps. I need to make that more often because it takes like five minutes to make. It is so fast. We had a side salad with that. Um, it's time for my next fueling, so I'm having some hot chocolate, one of my favorites. Oh, it's hot. Burned my esophagus on that. We're going to let that cool for a minute. <laughs> I have two hot chocolates left, so this is my second to the last one, but we have officially confirmed that our box should be here tomorrow, so I feel safe in having this. I was trying to, like, save them. Um, but anyway, I just had a heart attack like in a half because David left to go to, uh, the service, which is like 30 minutes away. And right as he was leaving, it was like storming super bad, like lightning, thunder, heavy rain. And he never texted me to say he made it, which is fine. He doesn't always do that. And I hadn't really thought about it, but then I got a phone call from 
a town in Arkansas that I did not recognize. And I wasn't sure, like, my first thought when I saw that number is, I wonder if he's okay. Like, is he stranded somewhere? And then when I answered it, she, the lady's like, is this Miss Holly? And she was very serious sounding. And my heart went to my butt. <laughs> it's like so scared. I'm like, oh God, I'm thinking as she's pausing to like say the next thing, my mind goes, he's been in an accident. He's in the hospital. There's a catastrophe. I don't know what they're doing in there, but oh, it sounds like, it sounds like the floor is being covered in water. Um, oh Lord, I'm too tired for this. Anyway, it wasn't that. That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> it was a number calling about, uh, they're getting, giving away free roof inspections. I'm like, thank you for scaring the crap out of me. So I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> but that scared me. Like my, my mind immediately, of course, went to worst case scenario. Why do we do that to ourselves? I always try to answer, like, spam calls, I usually just ignore, like, if it's from a different state, something like that. But when it's, like, Arkansas, like, the same state as we're in, especially if, you know, he's traveling or doing something, I always, you know, I always try to answer them. But she sounded so serious, like, super serious. I watched, I watched too much crime shows and too many, um, like, sad books and <laughs> stuff. Okay, uh, I'm going to get these kids out of the bath. We're going to get them all ready for bed. And we are ready. Like, it's only 6 o'clock. So we got a couple hours before bedtime. The house is clean. The laundry is done. I've got dishes going. So I'm hoping they get done in time for me to go ahead and put away. Doing really good. So I'm going to just sit down and hold Layla and read a little bit. And just chill with everybody. Um, Nate's computer is officially dead. Here it is. This thing has been through a lot in the last two years. He's had it. Um, what happened, you guys can see, this part is like popping off and the power button is completely gone. Like it fell out. So you can't turn it off and the screen is frozen. So, um, we thought it was broken like a week or two ago, and we went ahead and ordered a new Chromebook. Well, then his started working again, so I just had it in my closet, and I was thinking, well, whenever it does kick the bucket, because it's obviously falling apart, I'll have a backup. And so today was the day, and he is jazzed about his new one. But the case that came that we ordered along with the laptop that said it was compatible is not working. Like, it doesn't fit even though it said it did. So we're having to return that and I'm having to watch him real careful with the Chromebook that we just bought him because I don't want it to break. And he is super rough. Like he just drops it in the floor. It is a miracle this thing has lasted as long as it has because it's been two, no, I think it's only been a year and a half because he had one a couple years ago. We got him one for his birthday and then it broke, but we have the warranty. And so we went ahead and got a replacement. This time we did not get the warranty, which makes me nervous, but the whole computer was only $70. I think the warranty was like 30. So we're like, if it breaks, okay, if it breaks. Okay, I'm gonna go deal with this. Um, there's lots of fighting going on. So I will see y'all back in a little bit. All right, you guys, it is the end of the night. It's nine o'clock. Here comes my little shadow. Okay, no lie. Layla has followed me around all day. She has followed me from room to room. I've been spending a lot of time on my computer this evening, so I moved her little bed near me, and she's been sleeping in there. If I get up to go to the bathroom, she follows me. If I... um go to the kitchen or whatever I go. <laughs> she is right behind me. She's so sweet. And she's all she's wanted me to do all day is sit down and hold her. I had about 30 minutes this afternoon. I sat down and hold her and she's like, I need more cuddles, mom. She is definitely a mommy's girl. Aren't you? She sleeps right next to me every single night. We cuddle. 
she's such a sweet girl I love her so much um so I got the kids to bed Nate is amped up he is so wound up I don't know why he was so chill all evening I laid him down he's in there laughing that kid is so funny like he is so full of joy all the time he is just the happiest kid I'm like you have got to go to sleep though <laughs> like, we've, we've got to go to sleep um I went ahead and unloaded the dishwasher so that's all good for tomorrow David texted me and said that he's gonna sub tomorrow it's actually really great when he gets to sub because he'll have like a planning period and he'll have breaks throughout the day um, where he gets to like work on his computer and get like sermon writing done. It's like a really quiet environment. And then he also loves getting to like help the kids and stuff. So he subs here and there. So because he's subbing tomorrow, um, he'll have to leave as soon as the big kids get on the bus. So I will not be going to the gym, which is fine. I feel very sore, like my, oh yeah, like right there, oh, it hurts, it is very sore, um, so that's a good thing. I'll go back on Thursday, and I can't even go tomorrow night because we have church, which I don't really like working out at night anyway. Um, the only thing I would do when I would go at night is I would just like walk or something, but like full on, like hard exercise, I just, I don't know, I'm never in the mood on evenings, I just want to chill. So I'm going to read a little bit. I need to eat my last fueling. I got so sidetracked getting all the kids to bed that I'm a little behind on that. I usually eat it around 8.30 and it's now a little after 9, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'll eat a brownie or something. That sounds good. I'm going to sit and hold Layla and read a little while. David probably won't be home for another hour or so. I'm not even sure. I can make sure. He, no, he hasn't texted me. So they're still in service. Um, and it'll probably be a while because it's like a 30, 40 minute drive once he leaves. So anyway, we missed him tonight. Nate, I was putting Nate to bed and he said, where's daddy? <laughs> so, um, we always feel it when David's not here. Anyway, it's been a really good day. I've gotten so much done. Like the house is clean. I feel on top of it. YouTube. I've gotten videos filmed and things scheduled. I've worked on some things for the church tonight. I've been working on the computer the last couple of hours on church stuff. We've hung out with the kids. Like it's been just a lot of fun. It's been a great day. I feel productive, but I feel tired. So me and Layla are going to go chill and then we're going to go to bed and we will see you guys tomorrow. Right, Rito? I'm just so tired. I'm so tired, and she's just a mommy's girl. She follows mama vacuuming. She follows mama cooking. She's just my little buddy, y'all. She's getting older, but she is, like, seriously my best friend. I have had her since me and David first got married. We got her right before we moved <laughs> to Texas. And, uh, you know, we moved away from all family and friends, and we were newly married. And she got me through some really hard times. And then all the birth of my babies, being up in the middle of the night, um, different moves and different, all different stages of life. She's been right there and she's been the best girl. So I just hope she lives as long as possible. And um, I think she's had a really good life. Look at her. She's like, I'm just going to go to sleep right here. I joke and say I need to get one of those baby carriers and just carry her around like this all day, like a little baby. Um, I tried that once and she hated it, uh, just for fun. I put her in one of the kids' baby carriers and she hated it, but I don't know. She's, she's getting like a stage four clinger. So I think she might like it more now. What do you think, Layla? Would you like go to sleep like a baby? Nope. Did not sign up for that. So anyway, we're going to go to bed. I love y'all. If you like the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you like Layla, definitely subscribe to see more and leave us a comment down below. And we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.